Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ricky and this is my channel is Ricky's Foods. So for today's video, we got something delicious. One of my favorite things to do and it's a uh, carne asada torta. So basically that's a Mexican sandwich. You can put whatever you want. I'm gonna put my favorite things on it. It's very flexible. You can put, like I said, whatever you want. And for that and for this cook, we're gonna be using my Pit Boss Fur Burner Griddle. It's gonna make it super easy to make the torta. It's gonna keep the kitchen clean, which I love that. And that's pretty much it guys, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so this is everything I'm at to my carne asada torta. So back there we got cheese, you gotta have cheese. Right here we got the meat, this is some um, carne ranchera, in English it's um, flat meat. It's really good. It has a lot of fat in it, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be really juicy, which I like that. I'm gonna add one egg back there. I love eggs on my sandwiches, so I'm gonna add just one egg. And we got bone marrow. I love bone marrow, so I usually put this in my quesadillas, my tacos, tortas. I mean, it's really good stuff. So the bone marrow is really really good. So I'll be adding that. And then we got bacon. You know, you gotta have bacon. Here we have is salt and pepper. So it's two of them. So we got the salt back there, and we got the pepper. And then here's the bread. So this is um, this is a telera. So there's two kinds of breads that I know when you make um, torta. So this is a telera, and then the other one is the bolillo. I prefer this one because it has a little bit, it has a little bit more width, and it's a little bit more spongy. So it's gonna be soft. And then I added butter, so you can just toast them in the griddle. So that's gonna be really good. And then we got some shredded, shredded lettuce right there. We got. I made a quick guacamole, so it's just two baby avocados, salt and pepper, and a little bit of lime. And then we're gonna caramelize some onions. I love onions. And for the seasoning, we'll be using some Chef Merito steak and meat um, rub. It's really good. I mean, every time we make carne asadas with my family, this is what I first used when I first started um, barbecuing or grilling. So it's really good stuff. So for this, it's gonna be perfect. So that's it guys, so that's everything I'm going to be putting in my carne asada. And then back there, I have the griddle. Like I said, it's a pit boss for burner griddle. So, let's get to cooking guys, so I'm super hungry. Alright guys, so we got the pit boss nice and hot. So, I got the two burners on the right turned on. So we're going to be cooking everything on the right side and then we're gonna push everything to the left once it's done to keep it warm. The left side of the griddle, it's off. So we're gonna keep it warm on the left side. All right guys, so the first thing I'm add to the griddle is the onions. It's gonna take about, I wanna say 15 to 30 minutes just to, the, to get the consistency that I want. So we're gonna be adding the onions first, put them right here in the middle. And then we're gonna add a little bit, a little bit of olive oil, just to help the process. And the next thing we're gonna add is the bone marrow, because the bone marrow is gonna take a little bit too. So the bone marrow, well, as you can see right here. I'm gonna put it face down for a couple seconds just so we can get a nice sear. All right guys, so the bone marrow is gonna be like this for a couple seconds. After that, I'm gonna flip them, ar I'm gonna flip them around and then I'm gonna cover them with foil just so we can speed up the process. So now that I flipped the bone marrow, I'm gonna cover them with the aluminum fan just so we can speed up the process, the cooking process. So basically what the aluminum pan is gonna do, is gonna steam inside, so it's gonna help cook it faster. So now that we have the bone marrow fat right here, this is where I'm gonna put the meat.
And then I'm at the bacon. And to the onions, we're going to add pepper. And then we're going to add some salt. So the meat, we're gonna add the rubber already so we can get some flavor. All right guys, so the bacon is done and that's how I like them, nice and crispy. I'm gonna put it on the left side. So now I'm just going to toast up the bread and put it over here on the top part where the bacon was. Make sure you press it down. Alright guys, so now I'm going to remove the onions. It's perfect. I got the right consistency the way I like it. So I'm going to put it on the left side. guys and that's what you want to get you want to get nice and crispy and the bone marrow is done guys it's nice and soft I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera it's not focusing but it's nice and soft so I'm gonna put this on the left side all right so the meat is ready so I'm gonna put this on this left side as well All right guys, so now I'm gonna cook the egg. So now I'm gonna melt the cheese. All right guys, so I'm gonna put everything on the table so we can start making this torta. So I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right guys, so here we have everything ready. We got the bread and we got the cheese nice and melted. It's gonna be nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and start assembling this torta. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the guacamole all around this torta. Boom, just like that. And then we're gonna get the onions and the bacon. Let me add the onions first. Boom, just like that. And then we're gonna grab the meat and put it all over. Just see if it stays together. Just like that. And then, don't forget about your bone marrow. It's gonna be really good. Scrape everything, all that goodness. Mm. Just like that, guys. Bone marrow is really, really good, guys. If you haven't tried bone marrow, I suggest you do. It's really good stuff. All right, guys. Don't forget about your egg. And then, put your shredded lettuce in there. So let me go ahead and bring you in closer so we can try this. Oh, almost forgot the bacon. 
Don't forget your bacon. All right, guys, so let me bring you in closer so we can take a bite of this delicious torta. All right, guys, so here we have the carne asada torta. Looks amazing, smells amazing. It just, it came out perfect. So I'm just ready for the best. So let's take this bite, guys, so cheers. Wow, guys, super, super good. I mean, probably the best torta I made thus far. Super happy, tastes amazing. The bone marrow just goes so well with everything. I mean, it just complements the torta, the bacon, the egg. Super happy with this cook. I mean, we used my Pit Boss um, griddle for burning griddles to make it super easy to use. So overall, I'm happy with this cook, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. So like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.